What's up guys, Bajiri here. So um, I'm feeling really good right now and I've been having like, you know, two really, really good days in a row. But um, if, I think you'll understand if I'm a little bit sedate today. Um, one of the reasons why is because for whatever reason, I was really inspired by a song today. Um, it's a, uh, it's that uh, group, uh, Claypex, that I, you know, use in my Sacred Heels video, like my most recent 3v3 video with Sacred Heels. And there was one particular song on there that I heard and as soon as I heard it, I was like, this is one of those songs that inspires me to make a video, and um, these are probably my favorite videos to make, but when I make them, I put a lot of myself into them, like a lot of emotion, and um, I think they turn out well, but they sort of they sort of put you in a certain kind of reflective and um, you know, pretty just interesting state of mind, like, and I am really happy right now, like, I'm feeling really good, and I'm really excited to share this video with you. It's just like... <sighs> like you know when you whenever you work on like a really big project or like you you've got like really powerful creative emotion or something like that and like that's actually what's happening for me like a really powerful creative emotion that I channel I try to do my best to channel into a video for you guys and um so at the end of it it's just kind of like whew, job well done but you know I got to keep moving got to make a vlog well I don't have to make a vlog but I I want to make a vlog to talk to you guys before I head off to work or to work out and, and then go to work but um but yeah the only thing about this video is that uh the editing um. Although I'm trying to learn, you know, and trying to practice my editing, this was this was another one of those things where it's like this song inspired me so much. I'm making this video today, and I am going to have this done before I go to work. And I finished it, and it's rendering right now. That being said, like the editing might not be like you know tip top crispness or like absolute best, but the kind of guy I am, um, there are some people who are like perfectionists where like they're not gonna release a video until it's absolutely perfect. Like I know Swifty's like that. He's talked about that before. Like he has to like rewatch the video, like uploads it and like has it set to private so he can watch it all, and make sure it's absolutely perfect. Um, I'm kind of different like that. I um, it's more important to me to get this video out to you to share with you how I'm feeling as like you know, like I want to have like the emotion that I'm feeling right now be transmitted to you in this video while I'm still feeling like this so that we can have some sort of like you know emotional connection I don't know I'm, just, I'm really weird like that I mean you guys some of the people who don't watch the videos so much you know they might call me emo or gay but um I don't know I just I just um I feel strongly you know I, I'm one of those guys who has pretty powerful emotions and I'm lucky enough to have found a way to to um channel them into a creative activity that I can then share with you guys who I you know you guys seem to enjoy it quite a bit, and uh, that makes me feel really good to be able to, you know, bring out videos that you guys enjoy, but plus, you know, express myself in this way. And so this this video is something that I wanted to get it out to you guys before I left for work. I want I want to have the comfort that this is uploading, and that you guys are going to see it before I leave, because it's really important to me. So like I said, the editing might not be the absolute most crisp that you've ever seen. It might not be the best, but um, the idea behind it is something that's really important to me. And something I wanted to share with you. So, you know, that's the way my videos are going to go for a little while. Is it's like, you know, maybe not the best production quality, but hopefully, you know, they've got some, they've got some heart, and hopefully, you guys can feel feel that, feel that little bit of heart that I put into the videos for you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm still proud of it. I'm not talking bad about it, but hopefully, you guys enjoy it as well. I'm just really pumped about it. But, you know, with all big projects like that, where you just put a lot of yourself into it, it's like, whoo, at the end of it. But, um. It's always good to talk to you guys. Uh, things are going well. Um, I got some pretty pretty exciting news from uh, TGN and Broadband TV and uh, you know Viso and all that. So I can't I can't really talk about it a whole lot, but it's it's good stuff, and I'm really excited about it. It's going to let me, you know, stay in the TGN uh, Viso family more than I was anticipating, which makes me really happy because they are they are my favorite. They are my favorite. I really appreciate Machinima giving me a shot with the, you know, the, the directorship and everything. But TGN, TGN is my favorite. N not gonna lie. I've worked with them for so long. I trust them. You know, they're great people, and really excited about this opportunity that I've been given. Um, but we'll probably learn about that later on. Just know that's a good thing, and um, it's it's in line with our project. All right. So that's 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 about as much as I'm gonna say about it right now. Um, but it's awesome. So things are going well. Uh, like I said, I had really good, two really good days at work. It's been really nice weather. Um, it's warm, but the breeze is actually pretty, pretty cool. Oh, before I go, I need to tell you about something that happened yesterday at work. Um, so we have in services, right? 
in services that are supposed to um, you know sharpen our skills because we don't actually get to you know practice CPR on a daily basis like people if we do our job correctly and watch our water well then like nobody has issues and because if there was ever an issue where somebody was like you know not being you know not able to keep themselves afloat or whatever like they're you know struggling or drowning or scared or whatever then we could go in there and get them before anything bad happened and um, we do a great job at that so because we're such good you know we have such good preventative measures there's hardly ever any situations that require us to use our sort of like more life-saving skills so we have in services to keep those sharp in case there's a situation where we would need to use them and um, it's the end of the year right a lot of people have gone back to school you know high school or college and um, so we've only got like the, the few the proud there at the end you know the guys who really enjoy the job or the guys and girls who really enjoy the job and are good at it so uh, I talked to this guy before Kirk uh, he's he's kind of a hard ass he's like you know come, he's coming from a military background He's a really cool guy. He knows his stuff, but he holds us to really high standards. And um, he's kind of crazy. So uh, what he said is like, you know, it's this time of the year where, you know, only a few of you guys are, are left. And uh, you guys are dedicated and uh, committed. And I, you know, I'm, I'm confident in your training. And it's time for you guys to really put it to the test. So uh, what you guys are going to do is you're going to revive me. And everyone's like, what? And he's like, you know, I'm going to go in there and, you know, you're going to actually have to save my life. And so he was like, you know, I'm, he, he was saying that he's actually going to go in the water and, uh, and like, you know, take water into his lungs to the point where he passes out and we're going to have to do our best to save him. He's like, I'm not calling no ambulance. This is up to you guys. So, you know, do it right. And he's like, so who are my, who are the lifeguards have been here the longest? And I've been there for about three years and I'm a team lead. So I was like, yep, you know, I'm one of them. And my other team lead friend, Chase, had to do it. And then Kelly, who's the, the husband of the aquatics director and just loves the hell out of lifeguarding. So it was us three who are the main rescuers, right? And so I was pumped. I was like, you know, taking off my watch. I was taking off my bracelet, anything that was going to keep me from, you know, being like maximally able to handle the situation. I was ready to go, dude. I was pumped. I think like all the lifeguards were, sure, were, were scared shitless. But I was like, let's do this. I'm going to suck the hell out of you, dude. I'm ready to go. Like I was pumped. I was like, let's do this. And then um, I'm like, so how long do you think it's going to take for you to, you know, to pass out or whatever? He's like, I don't know, about 30 seconds. So... I'm like, everybody's ready to go. Like, I just get dinner like this, you know, in the dark is like 8.30. So it was like dark already. He's like, oh my God, they're all freaking out. And um, I was the guy who's going to have to jump in and get him and pull him out of the water and stuff. So I was ready to go. So he jumps in and I'm like, one, two, three, four. And so like he's breathing all his air out. You can see the bubbles coming out. And then before, before he jumped in, I was like, so how do I know when to get you? And he's like, you'll notice, you'll know. So, and I was imagining like, you know, I'm going to see him float to the top. So after about, you know, 20, 30 seconds, this guy floats to the top, right? And I jump in and get him, and he comes out of the water and is just cracking up. And all the lifeguards are like, "Oh my god!" And I, and I was like, "What? Are you not you're not drowning?" He's like, "Hell no, I'm not drowning." <laughs> so he was just he was just you know yanking our chain or whatever. And I was like, so I got out of the pool and I was like, "You're drowning, damn it!" So I like jumped in on him <laughs> and just messing with him. So. You know, that was that was pretty funny. So hats off to you, Kirk. Apparently he even watches these vlogs, so if he's watched this thing long enough, you know, he's gonna get a he's gonna get a shout out. So that was pretty funny. And then we of course we went on to uh, you know, practice our our CPR and stuff and we had a good in service and so I was feeling I was feeling lifeguard love. You, you know me, I like that sort of community, you know, group inclusion kind of thing. So I, I was feeling it. That that was pretty cool. But that was a funny joke that he did. So that was a funny thing that happened at work the other day. But I was pumped, I was ready to go. I was gonna be like calling his wife and be like you're welcome for saving your husband. <laughs> but I was ready to go. But anyway, that was a pretty funny joke. And uh, that, that made my night, <laughs> essentially. Oh, and then last night, I didn't live stream last night. I just did some twos with Arthero. And then we were doing like naked duels out in front of Stormwind on the bridge. It was funny. It was hilarious, dude. We had some epic stuff. I kind of wish I would have recorded it. But, you know, some nights you just have nights where you just, uh, you're just chilling. And I didn't really want to record double DPS twos or like live stream or anything. I don't know. I was just... I was just going with the flow, but anyway, this video is definitely going to be uh, uploaded here in a minute. Not up, I mean, it's, I'm going to upload it. It's not going to be finished uploading in a minute, but um, this will be. This vlog will. So um, I'm gonna head off to work and get a workout in, and then hopefully have a good night. I'm not sure what we're gonna do tonight. Maybe some. Probably gonna end up doing arena. Um, get some more recorded arena um, to post on you know my channel and TGN with Sacred and all. So. Uh, that's gonna be fun. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I put a lot of myself into it. Not a lot of time editing it, but um, a lot of a lot of soul in this. So I hope you guys hope you guys enjoy it and hope it you know 
it means something to you because it definitely means something to me. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.